Hey Bells, it's Melissa. I wanted to talk to you for a moment. So in this video, you see I'm installing this wig from DY Hair 777. This is their Brazilian HD 6x6 lace closure wig. The density is 200%. The texture is body wave, 22 inches, and I have a medium cap size. As you guys can see, straight out the pack, this wig is just absolutely gorgeous. The install so far is going amazing. It has adjustable straps, combs. It was easy to put on and it fits so comfortably and securely on my head. As you guys can see, I did not glue this wig down. And the hold that I have throughout this video is insane. Right now, I'm just customizing my wig. So I wanted to clarify that parting space. You can do a side part middle part it's a six by six lace so you have a lot of space to part the wig where you want to so since i have the part that i want i just use my press comb to flatten the hair out and then also use some mousse for some extra control and i'm also going to push the hair back and away from my face so that it exposes more of my forehead and of course the work we put into these baby hairs So right now I'm putting some concealer into the parting space so that we can hide the knots and make it look even more natural. So next I want to go ahead and put some curls into this wig. As you guys can see it is body wave so the hair is already a little bit wavy. But I want to have a little bit more curls, more volume in the hair. So I'm going to use my curling wand and just wrap the hair around the curling wand, keeping the hair flat so I get more curls rather than waves. And then I'm going to hold it on the curling wand for about 10 seconds, release the hair into my hand, hold it in my hand to let it cool down, and then release it. Now if you want the curls to be more defined, once you release it in your hand, you can pin it up and let it cool down while it's pinned up the curls are going to be even more defined and they'll last even longer so you guys need curling this whole side over here make sure you comb it out first and then curl it to wrap it around the wand it'll help prevent tangling when you're wrapping it around the wand 
the hair is very very soft like very soft and it curls really good as well i was really surprised by how quickly and how beautiful the curls were looking Now in the front of my hair, like I said, I want to keep this hair pushed back. So I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray to um, get it to stay back. I'm using my finger to dry the hairspray and, and flatten it down. And I'm going to go in with my curling wand and put some heat on it to dry it and to freeze it into place. As you guys can see, it pushes it back off my forehead. Then very lightly, I'm barely even trimming this hair, you guys. So don't freak out. But I just wanted to cut it a little bit of the hair off in the front. I think I'm going to... I think I will go in later and cut it even shorter because I want to have some face framing layers in the front. But I'm just lightly, lightly cutting the hair in the front to get some layers in there so the hair will lay the way I want it to lay. Now I need to curl the bang on this side. I've already curled the rest of the hair. I couldn't do it all on camera because like it'll just take too long but this is how it's looking and then I'm gonna put a braid over here I wanted to put some braids in the front and honey I was trying I really was trying like I was trying to do some cornrows in the front but honey I am not blessed in that department and it was looking bad so I just scrapped that whole idea but I did want to put one braid in here because like that was the look I was going for today I wanted some braids in my hair so I'm gonna put one braid in there and then I'm gonna add some puka shells now, after I put the puka shells in there, I forgot I had this beautiful seashell I wanted to put in to match my outfit. So the top seashell, the top puka shell I'm going to take out and then put the seashell in there. And I'm just using these gold rings. I'm sliding them through the braid and then closing them with my fingers. I thought it was really cute, a way to accessorize my outfit. And I'm just putting some layers on the other side. You guys can see it's just a little bit of hair I'm cutting off. Nothing major. And this is how the hair looks. It's so shiny and so soft and so beautiful. I love how it melted into my skin too. Like, and like I said, I didn't even glue this. I didn't put no hairspray down or anything. And it just melted into the skin very beautifully. But I will have this wig listed down below in the description bar. Also, I have a $10 coupon if you spend $50 or more. And it's YTO222. Of course, all this information will be in the description bar for you dolls. Isn't this lovely? Oh. The wig is so beautiful. So beautiful. Anyways, I love you, Belle, so much. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to shop DY Hair 777. Everything is down below in the description bar. I'll catch you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.